Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. Hope you all have been doing well. Um, it has been, uh, we're, we're just getting back from, uh, from Austin and, uh, it was a jam packed week, but uh, a good week. Um, and, uh, it was awesome to be able to meet, uh, some of you in person, um, Scott and Bows and, um, uh, Drew, of course, was there, and Sherelle was there. It was, it was great. It was uh, a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we also uh, had a bunch of folks from the Brave uh, Brave and Bat team there uh, in attendance. Uh, James was there from our Web3 team, and Kyle was there from the Wall team. It, it was solid. It was, it was a good event, um, and uh, I was not wearing a suit um, uh, unless, uh, yeah, no, no suit for me, but uh, – but it, it was great. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, uh, what else came from that? Uh, we had a good, like, a happy hour thing with um, with Zcash. Uh, it was kind of a collaborative thing. It went pretty well. A um, bunch of good meetings um, and and some planning stuff that we we took part in. Uh, there's Karate Combat, so I'm sure Drew and folks will talk about that um, with the presentation. But, uh, but yeah, it was a great um, – it was a great week. Thanks for everybody that helped organize and, and was involved there. Um, and uh, yeah, a couple other things that are just uh, top of mind. Um, we it's pilot season continues. Um, the bonk stuff. We posted an update on, on the bonk campaign. Uh, we have Len that's live right now as well. Um, and uh, we've got a few um, other things running. Um, we launched a pilot with Zcash Media, um, kind of to start to get a baseline going um from brave ads and, and bat for uh for some of the upcoming zcash um features that are going to be landing in the wallet so uh the the results are pretty good from that um so far i think you know we, we increased their daily average video views on their youtube channel by something like 2700 percent um which is pretty spectacular um and uh we have uh, the really good uh really good other stats that we're kind of working at um which which gets them all pumped about the content they're getting ready to release um we're also going to be uh, sponsoring a uh a golf tournament in uh pasadena with a bunch of i think VaynerCon, a bunch of other um web3 companies are, are hosting uh and uh, i think the d golf guys are going to be there and and a bunch of other folks um so that'll be upcoming pretty pretty interesting there um and then uh we're doing a uh we'll be at a conference in vegas i think it's um a rarevo or something like that um uh company is putting it on um august uh i think it's august 15th i think or something like that but um we'll get more details as we get closer to that um a lot of stuff planning uh in the in the works um and uh yeah lots of cool things to look forward to um there's another pilot we're also working on uh part of a partnership that uh we'll, we'll be getting some more info out there on shortly um but uh yeah so hope you all are doing well um i think i'll hand it over to jenny and crew um to, to fill in on the updates and uh do their their song and dance but i also saw some cool stuff from Badern and guillermo too I'm a little behind in my replies, but uh, but it sounded like you guys ripped it up in in Lisbon. So yeah, interested to hear more about that too. Is Jenny here yet? Nope. Yeah, I think she's yeah. coming. She comes in. All right. Well, I can fill some time. Yeah, it was, uh, Liz, Lisbon was great. It was uh, the most fun I've had in crypto in a very <laughs> ever since the initial pump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like uh, it really felt like for me, kind of like the real mainstream adoption in a way. The seemed like it wasn't just like the regular crowd there. There was just like a lot of people. Like you know, normal people. I said no, I said normal people at the meme con, <laughs> but it just seemed like a, a more like a broader scope of society than I've ever seen at event. That's awesome, and I was like, it was. It looked like the lineup was like really, really good too. Like, they're like I saw a picture there with you and Beeple, right? Is that is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, met, I met Beeple. He, he was cool. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, the, I, I was I was in the back of the gently used Honda Civic as well. That that, that was the <laughs> my favorite bit. Just the guy that bro, bro, the sort of a brave T-shirt was in that car. So, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, <That's> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> cool. 
But I think like me, 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 memes are great because there are a lot people can get into them, especially with Solana as well. You know, people, anyone with like ten bucks can come and play to get in the game. You know. Oh, I love it. I mean, like in uh, those, I'm interested to hear. Like you, you were sharing a story too about uh, being on stage and stuff. I hope that. Uh, I, oh, I don't want to. Oh, that, the order oh no, 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 there's no, there's not too much on my slide anyway. No, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't, it was, wasn't a very serious presentation <laughs> on the stage. It was like the guy was dressed up with like a paper mache hat. Uh, we were just all rambling on about coconuts and uh, launching a meme called on stage. It wasn't, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a serious panel. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I mean, like, if you think about where things have come from, right? Like, like what twenty seventeen? Everybody has to like go through all this like paperwork, white paperwork, you know, organizing all this stuff, and then now where it's like, nope, I'm just gonna launch it on stage. Here's your code. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what, someone launched it on stage, and then uh, like, well, I looked at someone on this front in the front row, and they made it for us. <laughs> I was, awesome. I was I was trying to do it, but I had I had a mask on. It was hot. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I don't know, uh, Jenny. If you want to kick off. Hello. Yes, yeah, sure. I can kick off. Um, before I start, though, I just want to say, uh, Battern, we didn't connect, <laughs> but I'm sorry I removed one of your slides. Please oh, don't, don't 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 worry about it. It was just a sort of waffle anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Totally wasn't a waffle. <laughs> I thought that sometimes this call is a little bit late for bad. Oh no, no, but very, very much appreciate it. But I'm still up, so I'm here. <laughs> All right, okay, I appreciate it. You can, you can um, put it back in while I'm running through the rest. <laughs> All right, so let's get started, everyone. Um, I was thinking we could start with a uh, referral stats update on the bad ambassadors. Um, browser referral campaign since it's been a little while. Um, the campaign is technically over. The, you know, this is all gravy right now. Uh, the campaign lasted for, uh, I think it was nine months. Um, and uh, for anyone who hasn't been around or is new or hasn't been following, basically we have a Bad Ambassadors program. It's a volunteer program. We've got volunteers in there from all around the world. We gave them each a referral code for the Brave browser. And uh, they, through their various events, meetups, uh, presentations. Um, oh, I think somebody's unmuted who might want to mute. Batter, and I think it's you. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Um, no, it's OK. Um, but yeah, so they've been helping us uh, get new users on the Brave browser. And uh, this campaign has been helping us sort of you know, gauge um, our program's impact on user growth. And uh, it's been a nice little experiment. And so. Uh, yeah, like I said, it, the campaign is technically completed, um, but we're still letting it run until we let in our new crop of bad ambassadors for season four. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a couple of minutes. But uh, yeah, here's the campaign update. So hang on. Um, all right. So in total, since we started the campaign, our ambassadors have driven over 12,000, almost 13,000 Brave browser downloads with their QR codes. Uh, that's pretty crazy. I'm going to do the breakdown of uh, this data on the next slide. Um, but yeah, and, and all of those downloads have converted to 344 new users. And we may see, you know, that number of downloads continue to convert over time. It takes time for people to like travel through the funnel from downloading to becoming like uh, what we consider a converted user. But uh, these numbers are really impressive. I've talked at length about this in previous presentations, so I won't harp on it, but uh, I just think it's great. I wanted to show you all where we're at. And uh, there's my little dancing bonum. <laughs> we'll, re we'll restart this campaign uh, when we have our season four ambassadors in the program. But um, yeah, season three ambassadors are still going strong, uh, hosting events and uh, bringing new users to the browser. So yeah, I just wanted to highlight this. And then, um, so on this slide, I broke down uh, downloads, first opens, and conversions by region. And I just wanted to highlight a few people who've been doing a bang up job with the referral campaign. So first of all, we have Stan from Kenya, who single-handedly <laughs> brought in you know, the, the majority of our conversion so far. He has driven uh, over 1,400 downloads uh, 403 of those became first opens, and then 203 of those uh, converted. 
So 203 new browser users, thanks to Stan alone. And uh, I mean, this makes a ton of sense because Stan has been uh, attending events like crazy. Um, <laughs> thanks for the reaction. And I know Godson is going to talk a little bit uh, more about Stan's activities when we get to his slides. So I won't, uh, I won't keep you all for too long. But I also wanted to highlight Alfred from Nigeria. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> he's driven 271 downloads, 76 first opens, and 46 uh, converted users. That's awesome. Also, Nam Jiang over in Vietnam, uh, many downloads over there, 41 new users. Thanks to Nam Jiang. Um, Shidi uh, from Uganda, also doing a great job. Viking in Indonesia, Sam in India, uh, Batern. <laughs> Batern is also uh, driving those referrals, so thank you. Um, and then we have Desert Crypto Ant and Bows in the US who are doing a really good job and uh, Donatello in Mexico as well. Um, so yeah, just wanted to highlight you all. It's, it's been, it had been a little while and uh, the numbers just keep going up. So thank you, Bad Ambassadors, for all your hard work. It's a great browser. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, okay, uh, last week was Consensus 2024 in Austin. And uh, as you all know, we had a lot of Brave team, uh, not at the conference itself, um, but we did a Brave happy hour uh, alongside Filecoin. And I think there was another partner involved in the happy hour. Uh, and then we also sponsored the Karate Combat um, match that took place on the 30th of May. We were an arena sponsor. Um, and then Brendan, our CEO, uh, spoke, I, I think at Consensus, and then also uh, he did a second panel somewhere else during Consensus Week. Um, and I just wanted to highlight Scott, AKA Crypto Dojo, from our ambassadors program, we sent him along with Brave to help with content. Uh, he did a live stream during the event. He is doing a Twitter Spaces tomorrow to recap, um, you know, his experience, Brave's activities, just talk about, uh, you know, the things that he saw and learned during Consensus. And he recorded a ton of content, video content, photo content um, that we will be using and circulating on social media. So stay tuned over the next week, week and a half, uh, there should be lots of content coming out from Crypto Dojo. Um, he's awesome. So thank you, Crypto Dojo. And uh, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, please do. Uh, it's just Crypto Dojo. And he's a verified Brave creator. So send him a bat tip if sure. you like what he's up to. Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to remind everybody that the ambassador uh, program um, Signups, sorry, signups for season four of the Bad Ambassadors program are open. Um, we have a block survey uh, application form, which I'm sure Belladon is going to beat me to the punch and link in the chat. Um, if he doesn't, I'll drop it in there when I'm done. We also have a Google form that you can use, but you know, use the block survey form. Um, we've received over 50 applications so far. So Badron and I are going to be going through, through those this week, sending out uh, invitations uh, to set up one-on-one -on -one calls with the new applicants. And we're going to slowly start um, onboarding new members. We're really excited. We think our, uh, seasons, our season three members who have chosen to stay on uh, for the new season are also really excited to help onboard the newbies. Um, so yeah, if you applied, uh, <laughs> if, if you applied, you should be hearing back from us this week. Um, so keep an eye out on your email inbox. And um, if you haven't applied yet, but you want to, please do. And uh, that is it for me. I'm going to hand it over to Batern. Um, yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I went to Mean Book Card with Guillerme. Um, we told everyone there about Brave and Bat, and people really like to see us. It's amazing how many people want to talk to someone dressed up as a lion. <laughs> uh, we made a bunch of connections that were chasing up on the moment. My telegram has never been so busy. We're speaking to like uh, we've got like a contact like Ubisoft. Um, they have like a new game coming out that involves NFTs, and they were speaking about getting some ads. And we spoke. To, there was a company that was doing um, NFTified beer. So you bought if you buy the NFT, 
you get the recipe for the beer and you can take it to any brewery and they'll brew it for you which 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 i thought was really cool um those are the two what was the what was and there was brawlers who were interested in uh putting a you know, getting some adverts and uh putting us in their game because they've, they've got a game where um it's you have the coins fighting each other so they, they turn the coin they turn the meme coin into a character of the game and then a ai fights it and then ai powers the fight but the who wins depends on the price action and you can like, bet on it it looks pretty cool but, um yeah finally the ambassador nfts are uh, all out which is great because it was doing my head in but now i know exactly how to do them and uh, the perfect day <laughs> ready for the, uh, the me methods but the methods perfect ready for the next season all right that's me cheers thanks pattern i'm gonna hop to the next slide but okay i was gonna i was just reading the chat i was like is it your birthday luke <laughs> it's not your birthday no, I think I was saying uh, 50 is the new 40, and I think that uh, people made it as my uh, even more boomer than I am. Uh, <laughs> which, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I'll laugh at that one. We're at least six months from my, my birthday, and it won't be, won't be 50. It's closer to 40 still, thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, I also wanted to say before I skip to the next slide that uh, in the photo on the slide, first of all, it's so awesome to me that – uh, Batterin and Guillerme dressed up as lions for MemeCon. So funny. It, you guys must have been overheating to the max. Um, but also on Guillerme's costume, his mom embroidered a brave lion. <laughs> what? Yes, yes. That is like an iron on embroidery brave lion on oh my his God. costume. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. And everyone was stopping him and asking him about it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. She's a sweetheart for doing it. And, and a lot of people were like, uh, I thought like the, the way that Adam was saying it, I, people were going to mock me like, oh, was your mom did it? But they were being very nice about it. I was like, thank goodness. And then I'm trying to get better and to get his uh, suit with the Brave Lion too. Oh, I've got, I've got a clean, I've got to clean it, and I've got to clean it and send it to your mom. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. She'll charge you though. She'll start a business. <laughs> when will uh, this be on in the swag store? That's what yeah. I want to know. I knew that was going to be the next question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to just like paint a picture for like meme coin. There's like, a, like a panel, and there's a guy with a, a chihuahua mask, and there's like no context, no like. It's the most unprofessional thing ever. Just like guys with masks just making random noises. The Chihuahua was just barking for the whole panel through. And at one point, he was like walking all fours. I'm just looking at it like, what the hell am I watching? And then I'll, I'll look at Adam. He's like very seriously and focused looking at it. I'm like, what the hell? It was just so weird. Because at one point, it's like very like fun and like meme and whatnot. And then you like cross... Um, like the, the big doors and there's like this very professional setting with a lot of more serious projects. It, it was like a weird side, but it was very interesting. A lot of interesting folk. That's awesome. No, I love that you guys were there. Like, I think it was like really cool. And, and, and that batter and got on stage too. It's like awesome. The, those costumes, they can't, they can't look away. They're, they're, uh, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of pictures. Like yeah, of there's, there's going to be a lot more events with those costumes coming out as well. <laughs> no, I know. It's like uh, I, I want to like uh, put bat wings on the back of them or something like tie in. It's just amazing. Uh, I have no words. Um, oh, the, the way the way I wanted to tie bat in was I, I actually when I first came there I went to the security and I was like. So am I allowed to bring a? Am I allowed to bring a baseball bat in? <laughs> they, 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 they wouldn't. They would. They wouldn't let me wander around the car with a proper bat. So maybe, maybe if I make some kind of like poncy bats that you couldn't really hurt someone with, even if you tried, they'd let you in. They have like the plastic ones. There you go. I was just going to get a cricket bat and put a bat sticker on it, and that, that might have been the problem. <laughs> It'd be awesome. It's the best, best, really, the best, 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 best way to deal with the fun. <laughs> yes. 
Right. The, the next segment is just that I, I wanted to announce that I started working on the next issue of Acquit. It makes only sense that it goes around meme coins. So my current plan is just to feature a bunch of uh, meme coins, ones that we have featured and others that uh, I discover. And I have like full page artworks and then like a brief description of them and all of the interesting data like uh, max supply, uh, volume trade in the past 24 hours and things alike. So just like other people can see it and just have an informant um, opinion on it, and that can go just coin market and see where to buy it, or like what blockchain. So all that information on the magazine, I think that would be helpful. I think uh, Guillermo, we also plan to include a write up about uh, Luke's meme coin pilot with Brave Ads that he's currently running with, um, you know, all these different meme coin projects. Um, sort of showing how we can utilize Brave Ads to, you know, lift awareness and engagement with these projects and what the results have been like. So uh, that will be included in the upcoming issue of Echo as well. Yes, 100%. Not only that, but I want to mention that in MemeCon, there was a lot of projects that were interested in advertising with Brave. Some of them even came to us uh, asking how they could do that because they've seen other projects doing so. So nice. that's yeah, great. yeah. Well, I got to sync with you guys. I know I owe you some replies there too, Guillermo. It's been a been a bit crazy with the travel. I mean, reply yeah, no back worries, to you friend. But yeah, like I think it's a mix of like um, like we just added Bonk and and there's a few others. So it's kind of a balance between like uh, not adding too many. But I'd love to hear who came up with you guys and 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 get more like a uh, rundown of everything. But but yeah, it sounds awesome. All I, all I want to say is that I'm buying a sweatshirt from Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, Tiny New. <laughs> <laughs> Bows brings up a good point that there was no Mao at the at the Brave event, and I think uh, I think that's that's that is a was a miss. Um, I think it's like four hundred bucks a bottle too. We should have had it in stock. <laughs> for sure. Just had like one bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what's so funny is like I haven't even drank it yet. Like in. Uh, I, I could have I could buy a gently used Honda Civic with the amount of amount I, I, I hold, but um, haven't uh, I've smelled it. Um, I've smelled it. it. Like if you go to the Cube Exchange in Chicago, their headquarters, they have it like bottles of it all over the place. But it was at like it was jet lagged. It was like seven or it was like nine in the morning or something. And I just I was like, all right, let me catch the smell of this. I don't want to look like an alcoholic in here or something. But um, anyway, uh, uh, so you know, good times. But. Uh, by the way, because I saw this come up in chat too, like so uh, I don't know if, if anybody uh, if anybody uh, saw this, but like it was weird. Uh, so so Mountain's in our our lineup for uh, uh, for the meme coins with the Brave and Bat uh, pilot that we're doing. Like it was really weird. Uh, all of a sudden, I saw that like their name had changed on Coin Gecko. I think Coin Gecko like on their own kind of regex the name to like mt global or something like the on-chain metadata says mountai like and and uh the ticker is still mountai um but i i don't know like why they did it and then i know some people in the community over there I'm like what's going on with this it's like we're trying to hit them up it was unexpected or whatever and then they think they got a re rejection back around it being commercially used or something which is really silly uh because mountai is basically like it's kind of like one of those things like champagne where if it's made a certain way in a certain region, it's it's technically like Mount High. Um, there's a brand that has it, but like no a brand has ownership over it. Like anyway, really kind of a funky thing I hadn't seen before. Uh, and and hoping, uh, you know, I tweeted about it yesterday, just kind of hope to help their community out because those folks like they, they, they work for it. So um, uh, anyway, uh, if anyone's curious, that's kind of what was happening. We're hoping that like CoinGecko kind of, uh, uh, updates it, um, but uh, you know, that's on them kind of thing. But as always, the data is on chain, um, and, and it's correct on chain. So if you're ever curious, but sorry, I didn't mean to, to butt in. Who, who's up next, Paula? Yes, hi everyone, hope you're doing well. And so, a couple of weeks ago was Pizza Day in Mexico City, and our bad ambassador Donatello and his bad team participated in that event. And they established connections with other communities in Web3, um, promoted Bad and Brave by interacting with the attendees. Um, they also did a Q&A session and gave away some, some stickers. Um, so most of the attendees already knew about Brave and were active users. So they said that they had um, very nice conversations and discussions about, about Brave and its features. 
And the community were, were very happy, the different communities, I mean, were very happy to see brave representation at the event. Next slide, please. And well, here you can see all the all the pictures that were posted in the um, in X and a couple more. And so they printed different styles of stickers and did this amazing flag, um, amazing and creative flag that has um, both Bad and Brave logos, but also the Bad Mexico logo at the bottom, which I think was very um, very cool and creative. And yeah, so I'll pass it on to to Gutson. Yo, what's up? It's a uh, small G here with your weekly African ambassadors update. Uh, but before I start, is it Muay or is it Mao Thai? Because now I'm just confused. I think it's Mao Thai, like Mao, like a cow, but I could be wrong. Like I'm probably M wrong. M O U T A I. That's actually from the one of the meme coin. Uh, the meme coin. So yeah, 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 yeah. But I always butcher the pronunciation. So I think for a while I was calling it like, anyway, yeah. It's on the show. Mm -hmm. So it's it's Mu Thai, then, or okay, I guess. Anyway, yes. So, <laughs> hello, it's hello, liquid everybody. gold, bro. <laughs> yeah, hello everybody. Uh, not much going on this week from the uh, the uh, continent, but you know, uh, just a couple things to uh, you know update you guys on. Uh, firstly, we sent out the first uh, stipend to the ambassadors on Monday. Um, so, you know, this is officially like our first, I don't know, month. We're going to try, uh, you know, sending out like a little bit of money every month and see if, you know, that motivates people. We'll do it for like three months or something. And if it doesn't work, you know, we'll, you know, cut it. Um, uh, you know, we have like a, a tier system where we like give everyone like a, like a, a basic amount. And then, you know, the ambassador of the month gets like, like double that. So shout out to Stan for you know being the ambassador of the month last month. Um, yeah, we also you know have some some you know leads where were you know generated by you know the ambassadors mostly uh, from like all the little meetups and uh, conferences that they went to last week. So you know I didn't know if I should just you know drop a bunch of names because you know these things you do like a hundred calls and. Many of them go nowhere. So, you know, but these are the ones that you know, look like they might, you know, I, I actually end up to like a, a partnership or some sort of, you know, conversion or, or something like that. Um, and then finally, we are going to be sending Stan once again to the uh, um, KBCC, uh, the, the Kenya Blockchain Crypto Conference uh, in like two days, you know, the one we, we've been working with, you know, working on for like a month now and uh that um picture right there is like the he's he's, he's gonna be giving away about 50 of those uh we we uh, you know we had to make um you know just so he, you know he can be able to draw some attention to himself and you know do do like the the good stuff he does so yeah that's it uh not much uh to talk about but you know we'll you know, we'll uh, get you some more uh, updates and activity next week. Thank you. No, it's great, man. I, I think it's really cool to see uh, you guys work in the ground game. And, uh, you know, it's like this with, with the, the lead stuff. You, your throw, you, you have like, I mean, it's funny, like with the platform. I mean, I don't know if people realize this, like back when we first launched Brave Ads, it was like, uh, it was Jimmy Secretan and I like, and Jimmy was in charge of like all the engineering and stuff. And, and then like, I had like myself and Jenny and Chris Nguyen, who's now like the PM on rewards and uh, Dan Murphy and Steven Basson, who are both uh, in operations now, but where everybody was on the community and they were all out there selling like the first campaigns that we brought in were all like, we didn't have, that was our sales team was like a community, it was rad. So like, I get kind of nostalgic because like, I know that you know, and, and Battern got some leads and then, and then God's and your, your crew's like working it there. Like these are all areas that are like really awesome for us to be getting out there with. And, and we've got the room to do it. So like just uh it's a numbers game, right? Like you, you throw, you cast the net, and you know you're gonna get so many back, but like it's it's cool to see. I, I love it. I think that was a, a great update. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And then, of course, you know, the, the fun bank stuff, once we get to go ahead on that, and uh, then I'll, uh, I'll uh, lean on uh, my favorite person right now, Cheryl, to uh, help us out. But, yeah, that's great. No, thanks for sending that over to you. Like, that'll be a, a great one to get out to. Thank you. Thank you, man. Banana graph. Is that what you you coined that, right? <laughs> yes, yes. This is a, a meme I made up in like 2017. And they just won't die. <laughs> and, and now it's blowing up again. And I'm not even sure. Why. I know. It's like Kobe. Was that a, a screenshot of Kobe talking about it like back in what, 2020 or something? Yeah. He, he had like brought it up again in like 2020. Like, oh, I'm going to take over the the meme. I'm going to change it from the Godson banana to the Kobe canoe. And no one. <laughs> <laughs> and for the record, for, for X streaming and for perpetuity, uh, Godson uh, coined the banana graph. Sure. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So one slide from me. Um, it's been a while, but our spaces recaps from April 26th with Ola Gilgames and also with him from May 3rd have been published on Back Communities Notion. Um, and in those recaps, you can find all the details about our conversation with the project, as well as, um, well, specific information about the, the project itself. But if you have trouble finding the archive, they're also uh, shared in the AMA Calls Recap channel in the BAP Brigade Discord. And soon we will be posting them on the BAP Community X account as well. So that's all from my side. Thank you. And I'll pass it on to Gutson again. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Paula. So let's uh, quickly go over like the, some, some you know, stats uh like you know paula just said we you know had a, a space last week um you know with the help of unfungible and 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 the rest of them and this one was a little bit more uh successful than like the the you know the first one we had um 63 more listeners than we did on the first one uh it was it was actually a very fun little conversation you know jen jen jenny was there she'll Attest to that we uh, we had some some you know cool people. Um, the streams, on the other hand, are not doing so hot. Uh, <laughs> we we um we had about twenty three hundred views uh, total, which uh, is about thirteen percent less than we had a week ago. Um, a total. So, you know, it's still it's it's, it's still a, a lot of views, but you know, the the novelty, I, I guess, was kind of wearing off because like that that very first week we did the dual stream, we had like four thousand views or something like that. So we're down some like you know forty percent or thereabout. Um, but it's it's stabilized between the past week and the week before. So this week. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but we're literally streaming on like four platforms, four, four accounts. I'm streaming, both the bad accounts are streaming, Belladon's uh, streaming. We're trying to, you know, generate as much, I don't know, reach as, as possible. Um, and then, you know, we'll see what, what happens from there. Maybe we'll, you know, do some like pre, you know, pre promo or pre advertising or something like that. Um, ignore the, uh, total 1300 views there. That's definitely like wrong math. I swear I'm good at math. Uh, I may have just made a mistake, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you. I will pass it on back. All right. Yeah. Just piggybacking off that, I think with the, uh, the new spaces and, and streaming and stuff, it's, um, at least a, a step in the right direction. Uh, so getting some more, uh, views and people in those spaces and stuff. So looking forward to, um, <clears throat> continuing to grow that and whatnot. So hey, I missed the last space cause, uh, was that a consensus kind of going in and out of uh, different things, but uh, looking forward to the uh, coming one this week. So um, <clears throat> I think this week's topic is, I think it's uh, like web three is more than tech or something like that. So, but uh, we'll confirm. Uh, other than that, um, <clears throat> we just, uh, yesterday there was another Pet You Penguin ad for the Brave Talk with some different versions or variations of it. Um, the 
you know, community over there is kind of been loving it. So, um, kind of good to see some, some support and people, I saw a few people like posting on Twitter and things like, like, Oh, Pudger Penguins are on brave. And so it's kind of cool to see where people get excited, uh, you know, about, you know, just the ad, I guess. Right. Um, and then also during the event for Karate Combat, we did a little kind of caricature of the two fighters, the, you know, the Bitcoin guy, uh, Nick Carter, and then uh, David Hoffman from the Ethereum guy. But unfortunately, the Ethereum guy broke his rib the week before. And uh, so that fight didn't end up happening. I think there's quite a, a bit of disappointment in that. But uh, I actually ran into uh, Nick Carter at the event and um, he said he actually saw um, the, you know, brave ad image and, and thought it was cool. So kind of cool to see that. So maybe next time when it actually happens, uh, we'll get a little more, um, you know, from, you know, the participants in there and stuff, sharing it as well and stuff. Um, and then also, yeah, we did um, consistency this last week. Um, Brendan uh, presented a few times and uh, I went to one of them uh, and he talked about uh, the, you know, going crypto to mainstream um, and kind of that path and what it looks like uh, and what I think he was asked something along the lines of, you know, what, what would, um, you know, success or, you know, ideally be for brave. And he, he mentioned something about taking uh, 50% of uh, Chrome's market share. So, uh, made it sound like you know we're gonna make it happen. So <laughs> bullish on that, right? Fifty um, percent. That's a uh, that's a uh, one and a half. Uh, what's a one point six billion? That's uh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. that equals not every user being able to hold a single bet. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Take, take that uh, bullish signal. All you <laughs> exactly. So uh, I mean, of course, he was kind of you know. Was kinda, I think the a question was something along the lines of you know, kind of what's uh you know. Uh, <laughs> what would you say is like, you know, kind of the ideal situation for Brave. And, and that's what he said. So, but he also kind of, you know, made it sound like, you know, yeah, we're going to, we're going to make it happen. So at least that's why I took it because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bullish on it. So, um, and then also, uh, yeah, we went to the Karate Combat event, um, had a good time. Joe Rogan was there, not too far uh, off from where we were sitting, just across the little uh, stage thing. And then, um, I saw a bunch of people there that, you know, seen before and met before. And uh, those uh, the events are good. I mean, they're good because a lot of people go to them, you know, uh, you know, people connected and things like that. Uh, and then uh, coming up, we've uh, they've got another event next month in Orlando. And then um, the month after that in July, uh, or actually, we're already in June. <laughs> um, they have one in Orlando, I think, end of this month, and then end of July, they have uh, one in Nashville during uh, Bitcoin Nashville or whatever it's called. And um, so if anybody's in the area wants to go, let us know. And then also, yeah, talk to a lot of different projects, a lot of different people, and also current things that we're working on. I think you mentioned, Luke, the uh, Rare Evo uh, event in August, and it's August 15th through 17th in Vegas. I think that uh, we'll have something. You did a better and, job because you actually like pronounced the name correctly, and I was just kind of <laughs> marveling watching it. I, you know, to be honest, I'm not sure either, but I think it. I think it's rare, you know. But, I think you're uh, right. <laughs> I heard somebody else say that, so that's what I'm gonna go with, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So otherwise, yeah, it was a good event, good time hanging out with Bows, uh, Scott. I mean, those guys in real life. That was fun. So if there's other events that people can go to, man, I'd, I'd recommend you go to it. Just in real life meetups are, uh, you know, hit different for sure. It was awesome. I that, and I think like, just real quick, like you see that the top of that slide, uh, that sponsored image with the penguins and for brave talk. I mean, like um, shout out to Drew, like Drew, Drew's the one behind the scenes kind of making those things happen um, right now. And it's been really, uh, really cool to see um and sherelle too like for that matter like um you know sherelle is in uh, a consensus great seeing her too uh last week i see you're here to you today hope hope you're doing hope you're doing well um and uh i don't know it was really good vibes at, at austin last week and um 
And, and I mean, Bows, it was so cool to see you there. So you got a hand up too. Um, I don't know if you have any uh, thing you want to say. It, before Bows goes real quick. Uh, yeah. Luke, if you get a chance to look at uh, how this, uh, Pudgy Penguin ad did yesterday. It'd be interesting to see. Oh yeah, how yeah. Compar- how compared to the previous one? Oh yeah, man. All right, thanks. All right, Bob. Yeah, my hand was definitely up by accident, but uh, yeah, it was great seeing everyone. Um, sure it was. Sure it was. It was <laughs> Shout out to Drew for picking me up at the airport and uh, making sure I had a good time the whole time. Uh, it's also great seeing Scott, Luke, Jarrell. And uh, even some of our far away members of the Bray team that flew in, uh, got to meet Kyle and uh, the big man himself as well. Uh, yeah, so, that's uh, right. Uh, Brandon was there. But yeah, it was pretty sweet. Got uh, got some new people uh, to scan my referral QR code too. People so, who weren't even at the conference who I just bumped into. So that was pretty nice. It's awesome. Cool. Yeah, I think that's all I had, Jenny. Are you uh, muted there, Jenny? Uh, no, no, I just stopped the presentation. Thanks, everyone. Oh. <laughs> actually, actually, while I'm up here, I have a question for the group. Um, it's not directly related to that. It's related to the space. Um, it's a clarification on a term I see used, and I have no idea what it means. I don't think it's inappropriate, so I think it's okay if I ask it here. <laughs> Does anybody know what Remilio means? Uh, <laughs> Does anybody know? Uh, <laughs> I keep saying it, and I have no idea. I can't figure it out. I have so many of these questions. What is a GCR? What is a Reptardio? What is a Remilio? What is a? I, I, I feel like I'm not on Twitter enough. These kids just keep making up. Kids, all of them are 30. These <laughs> men just keep making up stuff every week. OK, Jenny, so you know my lady. <laughs> yes, the NFT uh, and the, Yeah, the Remilio Collective. Yes. OK, so there's them. But then someone made another one called uh, Redacted, not Redacted. Like Retardio, written, right? Redacted. No, 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 no. It was, re- re- yeah, I'm not, I'm, uh, redact- Redacted Romilio Babies, which is sort of like the male version of Milady. And that's what the phrase Romilio comes from. Rem- oh, well, that's so disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was something cool. Like I keep seeing it used in trading <laughs> contests. Like I thought, I, I I thought it meant like bait and switch or like I, I don't know. I I, uh, I it's, it's sure. like I'll, I I don't want to get into it on this call. Okay. <laughs> 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 like, I knew somebody on this call would have an answer for me, so thank you. I will be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was awesome. All right. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking, uh, just, uh, gleaning over the stats. I think, so the, the punji penguins one that ran yesterday, uh, we're still waiting. So there's like a, uh, a couple day lag on that one. Cause we used the statistical reporting on that, but from what I'm seeing so far, it looks like it's trending higher than the average on that. If I look at the average, I think the click through rate is around, uh low point so like 0.4 to 0.5 percent and what i'm seeing here is like 0.5 to 6 um for for past ones so it's looking good but the the data still rolling in so um yeah yeah so far so good cool thanks yeah yeah no thanks for tying that together because i think like it's one of those things where um people say like nfts are dead or whatever but they're still stuff where like you know like cream always rises to the top and and the pudgy penguins guys i mean like if we look okay like drew also like hooked us up with andrew forte at unfungible which i think that was through pudgy too right yes correct yeah man like i mean like the networking stuff and then also the vector in walmart is just rad like i think it's super cool like um to see this stuff and and you know especially we get the additional engagement off of it. it's pretty awesome 
yeah so they definitely got a lot of good builders in there and stuff and then um but yeah we're looking at doing some kind of other ones and stuff too i want to find some over on Solana and stuff i know i know bows have been talking about maybe doing some mad lads or something so we'll see what happens but um i think it's kind of kind of fun to, to you know mess with and see what happens yeah let, let me unleash uh, some of the mad lad cooks um i'm sure they can cook up something good as long as for you know that's also uh appropriate for ad um so <laughs> so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna throw the idea out to them um i'm in their content council so you're on the inside a little bit a little Ooh. bit right on man um uh, no go for it uh, uh, uh cripple resistance you got a hand up yes i'm quite glad you Oh, do you know of any links where I we can find uh, brother Brendan's presentation? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure if they got it recorded or not. Um, does anybody else who was there know? Because I was like out that day. I like flew back the night before. But I don't know if anybody else uh, heard if it was recorded or not. I know it was streamed on Twitter. I will have to check and see if we can find a recording or now. The yeah, one from I mean, the team actually his... recorded it. Not that I'm aware of. I can ask Joe. Awesome. He, he had two different presentations. I mean, it seemed like the first one he did, I mean, it looked like they were live streaming it somewhere, but the second one, I, the, like his Bing one, basically exactly what Geralda said. Can you recite it from memory, Baus, because you were, you were there? I missed at least half of his big <laughs> I'm not going to lie. No worries. No worries. Um, okay. I, I, think we should, I think we should put it how our, our, our presentation. It was all about AI and, you know, how it can be private and good and, you know, how brave rules, you know? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, and I see C Ray's got a couple questions in chat. Um, one about uh, any updates on whether we pushed out the next wave of Solana invites for awards or what the status is on it. I know that. Um, uh, does anybody like? I'm trying to remember. I think they're they're running it through with the same cohort for the second month because they're trying to uh, check against the previous month's payments. I'm not sure on when the next ones are rolling out. I don't know, Jenny, if you've heard anything different on that one. Um, no, I don't have an update on that yet. Um, the person who is helping me send out invites uh, to people that were providing their payment IDs has been out for a couple of weeks, but we're going to... Um, I'll probably be able to get somebody else to help me out with it. Um, and I'll keep everyone here posted. If you submitted a payment ID for our VIP list and you haven't heard back yet, um, just stay tuned. I should have an update for you next week. Got it. Okay, cool. And then on wallet, are we pushing any improvements on things like Solana, um, especially be able to edit gas and all? Yeah. So there's a couple of things on that. Um, one, um, the team's working with Healy is on, uh, as a, as an RPC provider, um, uh, they're they're used by a lot of the other Solana wallets and uh, pretty pretty steady uh, solid group over there. Um, I know Kyle is working with them on that, and then on um, there's some priority fee updates that we're pushing. I think they're nightly. I can double check on status on that, but um, I know that that work has been. Uh, there were PRs up for it. I'm not sure uh, if it's in nightly yet or not, but there's definitely improvements on on that side too, around priority fee handling um, with, for Solana in particular. Um, uh, yeah, it, it definitely is a top priority. Um, I met with James last week when we were both in Austin and we talked quite a bit at length about it and with Kyle as well. Um, and the team's like putting a ton of focus on that. Um, and also we, uh, we talked to, I talk, Kyle and I met up after, uh, just to, to follow on to the question about the uh, community link too um basically like we uh kyle and i got together after the meeting here last week um in austin and and talked about the support situation too and he's gonna talk with the wallet team about um about the community forum and, and and getting more active on there um as a result of what was brought up here so uh yeah and then um 
I see here. Yeah, no problem. And I see Nam has a, a note to Stephen too about um, about uh, the regulated term, which we can um, we can uh, uh, Stephen will be on top of that for sure. Uh, so thanks for that, um, Drew. Yeah, I was just gonna remind you. Um, you know, those main numbers came out yesterday. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah. You want to rattle them off? Uh, I can, yeah, let me pull them up real quick. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I think I can get it. So if we look at the, you know, old method, it's um, monthly active users is um, yeah, 78.95 million and daily active is 28.64. And then um, the new method, it was... 73.55 and 27.46. So both of them kind of had, um, you know, big bumps. So there's a big, I guess, yeah, Brendan mentioned it being the largest uh, increase um, yet uh, for a month. And um, yeah, I mean, if you look at that, it's like, you know, 4.4 million on the monthly and 1.1, and almost 1.2 million on the daily active users. Uh, that's that's pretty big. Yeah, massive. Uh, let's uh, let's go. I, I think it's fantastic news on that front. Um, and the the search volume, I think, too, is over. It was it eight hundred and sixty million? I think or eight thirty million. It's getting. Yeah, it was like for the annualized, it's like nine point nine five billion. So just read it. I remember, when, I remember when we were hitting a billion annual annualized and how big of a deal that was. It's just awesome to see the growth. Like um, one thing that's been really cool to see is like uh, a lot of the business lines are starting to fire up on, on all cylinders too. Like the API stuff's been growing. Um, I think, you know, we're seeing Google kind of falling all over themselves with their AI answers and search and, um, and Brave's been, um, doing pretty good on that front. And, uh, you know, with Bing too, their API went out. I don't know if people saw that, um, but basically like you really can see how the cascade of like uh, other apps that are dependent and services that are dependent on these Bing APIs. And it just shows you like how small of a world, like I thought ad tech was a small world and it, it kind of is in a lot of ways, but like, man, the search, search world's even smaller. Um, you basically have like, Bing and Brave and Google, and uh, and then a bunch of syndicated stuff that uses one of those uh, three. Um, and uh, so when somebody like Bing goes down, like you start to say, oh, geez, like ChatGPT stuff and, you know, DuckDuckGo and all these other services start to go down too. So um, I, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty bullish about, about all of that uh, and, and about like um, the stuff where we've got, you know, more and more stuff with that in the hopper too. some partnerships we've been talking through that are going to be pretty big. Um, and, uh, yeah, 50 is the new 40, um, bullish on that. And, uh, it's also been kind of cool to see, um, yeah, despite, you know, uh, how, how crappy, you know, government position on stuff's been the industry kind of coming together, um, to rally, um, against all this crap. And, uh, it's been, it's been nice to see. Um, but I, I think, uh, I'm definitely seeing it in conversations I'm having in real life and with, with other folks, there's like a renewed interest in brave. Um, and, uh, and, and that's naturally part of those discussions and we're going to be pushing it forward on a, on a bunch of different levels there too. Um, we've been working really closely too with the cube exchange team. Um, they're doing a bunch of go to market stuff and, uh, and, uh, so more to come on that front too, but, uh, it's exciting times, man. I think like, there's a real interesting cohort of like companies and, uh, and, and businesses and um, uh, teams that are all kind of trying to work together with projects that have actually built stuff and, and are uh, finding fit. And, um, and, you know, I think it's going to be opening up a lot of opportunities for bat um, in the next uh, several months. So um, keep, keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, I think Sira, you got a hand up. Yeah. Two things real quick. Once I heard you talk about search, uh, first is if you're not aware, one of the complaints we're getting from a lot of people is they've been going to Brave Search, they disable answer with AI, but the button still exists there. And they mm. don't the idea of seeing the answer with AI button after they've disabled it. 
I mean, so they want to see it, it just as a, it will just submit like you hit enter, but the idea that it's there makes them think that it's going to the AI or something. I see. That's interesting. It's like a perception thing. Right. And okay, so we're telling them to hide it with shield, but that's it. Yeah, there should be a better, a better, the DOM, should, it should be hidden uh, uh, if a user disables. That's a good piece of feedback. I'll, I'll, I'll send that one to the team for sure. All right. And the other thing is I still routinely see tons of people posting, asking how to list their website on Brave Search. They can't find it on the index. They're looking for any tools or anything else. And as much as I brought this up, nobody has ever written any articles. There's not been anything implemented to make it clear to people how websites get on the Brave Search or how to add. It's almost like we're, we're being selective and telling people they can't get their sites on there. Oh you know, no! Like, it's, it's like top secret. We and I really hope that we can change that to let people yeah, know I, how I it's think, there. And I can't believe I didn't think about this sooner. But like one thing you do is like if you enable the human web, the web discovery project feature, like mm -hmm. um, and then navigate to that site. Like that's how we're building the index, right? So like if you want sites to get added to the index, like um, people, when you have, when you have the uh, web discovery, pro I'll put the, uh, I'll put it, the link in the chat, but um, uh, it, that's the best way to get indexed because that's how we build our index basically. So um, let me see here if I can pull it up. I know we have things that talked about how we were using the web discovery for people who opt in, but then uh, it never said anything more. And, Comments from people a long time ago. I think somebody said you had to have like 40 different users uh, appear before it would go to web search, but I don't know if that's true. I'm not sure but, what the, the threshold is, but I think um, I think that might be right. And so whatever it is, but like I said, everyone keeps asking, hey, what about webmaster? Uh, did I just say that right? Webmaster tools and all that stuff in order to um, get it. So I'm just surprised we don't have like I said, anything to really clarify for anybody. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Um, let me see what I can find out there. But I, I think that what I'll probably hear back is, uh, or I wonder too if, um, let me let me find out. Let me, let me find out. I wonder if we can make it so that like, it could be part of the feedback too, that we integrate there, where if your site's not listed, you can send it with the feedback button or something. Um, I'll, I'll take it to the team. Let me see if I can um, get a better answer for that. Thanks, C. Ray. Oh, let's see here. Uh, -ba -ba. And I hear you on the replies too. We can get better about that. Hey, uh, Luke, um, I know we're. I guess I just realized we're about out of town, but uh, our time. Um, <clears throat> also, wanted to mention that uh, Bandit. Uh, posted some some uh, articles and some press releases through uh, a star or a star or whatever Aster? about yeah aster about the um, quest that they ran uh, through the brave ads and that it was a success so I think we'll you know I guess maybe be seeing some more stuff like that I guess okay cool is that um they put I that saw, yeah I saw a tweet and um uh, from Bandit, and then it uh, linked out to. Um, oh, I just had it here. It was um, Blockopedia. It was like an uh, article about it, and it talks about Brave and the ads and stuff like that. Oh, great. I'll uh, <laughs> give that to the team. Yeah. Thanks, Drew. Yeah. It's good to know things are working. It's very good to know. Awesome to see. Um, cool. Well, uh, I think we're right at time, but uh, maybe I have time for one more question if anybody has them. All right. Well, uh, in that event, um, thank you all for joining us this week. Great uh, recap. Um, Guillermo, better, and the costumes were fantastic. Um, thanks, for everybody, for representing. We will be back one week from today. Same bat time, same bat channel. Remember, uh, 50 is the new 40. And until then, have a great week and see you online. Take care, y'all. Bye, you guys. Hello, I'm not Johnny Cash.